So I went to the Piala Ferry yesterday, walked like for like five miles around that fair. I'm like almost 50 years old and like almost 300 pounds <laughs> walking around almost getting a heat stroke, sweating all over the place. I went on the, what was it? The, that fair ride, uh, it's a real slow one, but it goes way up in the sky. And I was on the verge of a panic attack, I think. But um, it was scary, but then it like, got un like started to get unscary, so I started to get used to it. And then I thought, well, hey, I can go on the scrambler, right? So, um, get over there, get in line. And um, I'm like too old and fat. I could barely get, I, it was up off the ground. I could barely get up, get up in the thing. And I'm so big around that when they clamped the, um, the latch that goes over the top of you, my stomach, it pushed in my stomach really, and it hurt really bad. So they turned it on, like the ventrifugal forces just started pushing and pulling and it started going faster and faster and I'm not sure but I think I started I had like a major panic attack I started going ah 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 <laughs> and then I was going oh my god oh my god oh my god and then I was going no more no more no more and every time Every time it whipped around to the front, the guy running the ride was laughing his ass off. And I started hearing all these people laughing at me. It wasn't fun, though. <laughs> it was not fun. I was not laughing. But uh, it was kind of fun, like, after the fact. But I, I wish I would have recorded it. It would have been funny to look at, though. Because I was, like, totally freaking out. Got a little sunburnt. And uh, I hurt my, I, I pretty much disabled myself like 20 years back with lifting this engine out of the back of my truck. And um, I popped out like four hernias or something and like the vertebrae in my back all started crunching together. So ever since then, um, my back hurts real bad. And like if I walk, it gets worse. So walking around for like four miles yesterday, it like took a toll on me. And like now today, it it's, it hurts so bad and it's so stiff that I can hardly even walk. I might even need a wheelchair. It seems like the older I get, the worse the worse this problem gets. So I'm in this adult care facility, and like. I've been in a couple so far, and the reason why, for different reasons, the one, one like, they didn't, they was, weren't feeding me any food. Eventually, they just stopped feeding me at all, and, like, you, like, needed permission to get into their damn refrigerator, or else they'd get mad. It really, really weird. And, um... Here I like it because you can go help yourself to the food in the refrigerator and the freezer and they don't get mad at you and they're like they're like, oh here, let me get you this, let me get you that. They're real nice and everything. But like the people in my experience, I don't know if it's just with me or if like most of them are, but like all these people are from Africa. Some places different place in Africa. And um I know that they all they're really smart. They've all had some sort of college education and whatnot. But like I showed my picture. I went to this I went to this um old timey photo thing at the fair. Okay, here's my photo. <laughs> Let me get it. Here. And um I wanted to be a gunslinger. So <laughs> I got this picture here. I don't know if you can see it. Okay. She goes, okay, look look angry. So I try to look angry. And I'm like, I'm a gunslinger, right? It says wanted. 
dead or alive. So I showed this picture to one of the ladies, the caretaker that's here. She goes, oh, you were in the army. <laughs> Does this look like any kind of military photo to you? <laughs> it says wanted dead or alive right on it. And it doesn't even it doesn't even look like a military photo. She's like, oh, I didn't know you were in the army. <laughs> you gotta be dumber than a box of rocks and a bag of hammers. <laughs> it's pretty funny though. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, you were in the army. Like what? But um so I'm in the shelter. For how long? I don't know. Um, I know I'm being poisoned with parasites. And I am been getting like these uh, bouts of like getting real, real dizzy. And especially if I cough or I sneeze, I get really, really, really dizzy for a while. And then it, and then it comes back. So I don't know what's going on with that but um I didn't see any little piggies at the fair I wanted to see the little piggies piglets but like if I if I go next month I don't know if I will because I almost spent damn near two hundred dollars and I basically got nothing out of it except like torture but um yeah if I go next month I'm gonna rent a wheelchair for sure because I I can't I'm like too disabled and too old and fat to be walking around miles and miles in, in that place but um yeah um so I know I'm being poisoned with like like the refrigerator the freezer the microwave probably the stove I don't know how they got the parasites going into the stove but I'm sure they do so, um, and I'm fine with that, and I know my end is coming, when, I don't know, but, um, all I know is this, and this is absolute, like, if they start turning up the parasitic gases in this place, I will not stay here. And I will not take, and therefore I will not be taking my medication anymore. I'll pack up as much as I can carry, and I will leave. But you know, I don't. I I I don't mind if I if I die here. I don't mind if I die in this place. It's fine because I'm I'm too old and too tired to keep on going on the way I've been going on. It's, it's, I'm under so much stress and strain that I feel like I could snap and I'm trying to deal with it. The, the stress of, um, being murdered by the FBI, it's so great that, um, just like I don't know I mean I don't know how I could how I could take take it for as long as I have really but like if I if I went to the hospital again for some reason and they wanted to give me an injection on the left side an injection on the right side about four or five of those speckled egg pills that are all parasitic and like shut down my kidneys I, I would gladly do it. I would gladly take take the medication and end myself because I mean I'm all for it because you guys want me dead and I don't want to be here anymore and I am suffering a great deal. My whole body's in pain, 
But um, all I know is that when I'm suffering way too much, God's going to know when it's time. And it's not on my time. It's not on your time, FBI. It's on God's time. It's always been on God's time. And when he's ready, he's going to call me home. And then I'll be, <laughs> I'll be safe, finally. Away from you psychopaths. So, I'll be happy. And, um... I did have... I, I had a little bit of fun. I have to admit, I had, I had a little bit of fun at the fair. I mean... But, like, there's, like, this... It, you got you spend so much money there. I mean, there's like someone next to me. They got like fries, two hamburgers, and a drink, and it was seventy five dollars. I was like, holy shit, that's a lot of money. But um, maybe I'll go again next month. I don't know. But. Yeah, I mean, if I can get a wheelchair, rent a wheelchair out, then maybe I'll go. But, like, maybe, if, hopefully the weather will be not so hot, because I, I almost, I think I might have got a mild heat stroke from not, not drinking enough fluids and being in the sun. It was, it was, oh, try, try being, like, 300 pounds and, like, walking all over the place and being old and being disabled. It's... That part wasn't fun, but um, just getting out of the house for a while and like walking around out and like pretending things are normal. Things aren't normal because I know I'm, I'm being executed with parasites, so things aren't completely normal, but um, at least I got a good attitude about it, right? I mean... When God's ready to call me home, He's gonna call me home, and I'll be safe. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm dying. I'm dying to meet the man who's been helping me this whole time. Cause he's been helping me this whole time, and like things would be so much worse for me if He wasn't with me and helping me. I swear, it would be so much worse if I was guilty of doing the things that the FBI thinks that I that I'm guilty of. He wouldn't have helped me. There's no doubt in my mind. There's no way he would have helped me. But he has, so I'm like <laughs> I'm really happy about that. But anyways, that's enough for now. You've looked at my ugly face long enough. See y'all later.